Good afternoon, YouTube. <laughs> We're back again. <laughs> so we've actually um, we've actually started work on Thunderbird Two now. It's a two two thousand and six Lexus RX one hundred H, and we've got a coolant leak, and we've started to take the radiator out. So this will be a multi-part uh, series, short videos, and I'll just show you the steps that I've, that I've taken. The, here's the engine bay layout obviously the coolant is currently draining out of the vehicle so what we've done so show you we've taken all the all the plastics off off the top just to gain a bit of access and we've taken the plastic cover off there that was held on by uh, pop fasteners We've taken the intake boot off. Takes there, like so. So one ten milli there, ten milli there, ten milli there. We've taken the small part of the the front balance off, which was holding with ten mil ten mil spire clips at the front and bolts at the back. The, the radiator draining, that's the, the radiator drain plug key, actually the radiator cap, the radiator drain plug lives down, down there where you can see literally all that coolant dripping out from, lives just there, so that normally, you see where the pipe is going down, it, the radiator drain cap lives, um, drain plug lives down here where my finger is now so we're just draining the coolant obviously the vehicle's cold made sure the vehicle was cold before I took the cap off and uh, yeah it's all going well I've had, I've had JB how are you mate I've had my gloves on so we're literally now we're just going through the next steps so we can see the balance has come off I've had the, got the balance off there I've just got the coolant draining out it is new coolant that so I'll probably sieve it and reuse it and now the next part is to take this this, this off here just normal normal 10 milli bolts two there two there for the bonnet catch two there one there and then and then we should be good to go to get it off and then also to get that off we're gonna have to get this little center cap off here really really hard to do one-handed I would imagine that's a little bit of a security nut that or something just to stop you from taking your your bonnet catch off so we'll whiz that off like I say they're all most of it's either 10 or 12 mil m8 nuts m8 bolts we're just throwing them all into the bucket So it's kind of hard doing this one ended. Surely stage to make good TV. <laughs> Daniel, me getting dirty hands, mate, is uh, will never ever make good TV. <laughs> I hope Chris is there. Chris, how are you, mate? Science of Diagnostics. If you if you don't know his channel. Get yourself over there. Hey, up! Crazy dogs are out. What are crazy dogs barking at? Who are you barking at? Crazy fool. Yeah. So if you if you if you don't know Chris, there, science of diagnostics. Click click on his blue spanner. And get yourselves over and give him a subscribe on his channel. Really good lad. Good man, that's what we like to see. Hey Chris, actually, um, I might have a John Deere to go and look at, mate, so I might be ringing you up. The last uh, the last experience I had of John Deere, mate, was over in Rwanda with a little remote control buggy we had. Little John Deere buggy thing. Right, so, 
Does this look like it's coming off yet? No. Two more there, haven't we? One. This is Barry, and I tell you what, this is the first time I've done anything like this in a long way, in a long time. So that's that there, I've just got that, that air con pipe now. Yeah, who'd have thought, see me, see me actually doing anything man well. Right, so that just pops off there. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got another 10 milli there. That's it, one handed. Hey, up, Steve. How are you, mate? Oh, no. Software update failed. No way. Oh, no. What's going on? <laughs> All the YouTubers are breaking their own cars. <laughs> right, so that's that. We get these little bits unplugged now. So, bonnet catch. This is where I can't lock my car tonight. Now you watch. Where's my screwdriver? Little screwdriver in there to help me out. I'm not really forcing them. It's just, it's hard to do it one-handed. So a little push clip in, disconnect the horns, that's one horn, bonnet catches off, second horn, yeah Chris it is, it's really me mate, yeah, yeah part buckets available to us, this is, these are some of the best wipes you can ever get mate, smart wipes, they're brilliant from Auto Smart. rough on one side, and uh, thingy on the other, they're brilliant yeah. Right, so that's the horns disconnected. That's the bonnet catch off. Look at that, another bit of a wee bit, wee bit, more, more wee stuff. The number plates fell off. Not that, not that I'm really bothered. There we go. So that's the bonnet catch out of the way. We'll just stick that down there. Let's get that cover back on that battery positive. I don't want, don't want anything arcing out. So we'll just lay lay that to rest there. Yeah. We've not obviously we've not had to um, we've not had to disable the high voltage system or anything like that or disconnect the battery. The keys are out of the vehicle, so there's no way it can start. We're not to isolate anything. We're not going near any of the yellow yellow cables or anything like that. So there's absolutely no risk. All we're doing is the coolant coolant radiator for the internal combustion engine. We're not going anywhere near the separate coolant reservoir for the high voltage system. So you can see two totally separate systems. One for the internal combustion and one for the high voltage system. Anywhere near that one. So we don't need to worry about anything. We're not going to disconnect anything orange or touch anything orange. So we should all be golden. So, what I'm going to do next now is top radiator hose off. Um, and control modules. There's one there, and there should be. There's one buried down here as well. Fight with all these Christmas tree fasteners to get the loom out. We'll peel the loom back and get it over to one side. Then after that, then um, obviously this loom has to come off. So I've got to go down and disconnect my ambient air temp sensor, which is located there. Pull those Christmas tree fasteners out. And I've actually did a temporary repair on this wiring, so I'll actually, um, you'll have seen the video on that. I will repair that properly while that's out. Separate the, obviously we've got the, um, the aircon condenser here. That actually, that looks like it's leaking. Although my aircon does work. So set the aircon condenser and then the actual radiator is the next one is the next one behind it. So we'll separate those, pull the radiator out. So that'll be for video number two. So I hope you really, really enjoyed watching me get my hands dirty for 10 minutes. We've got thick black cloud coming over now. 
so no doubt it's going to rain just when I need it not to and uh, watch out for the next live video for stage two thanks for watching you're awesome